Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Time to build some walls. So if it wasn't already evident enough, I'm incredibly excited to have these walls for the most part done. Only thing I need to finish now because I ran out of materials and I need to AFK for more is blackstone and nether brick. I thought I had enough nether brick, but I did not. So I have to farm either AFK for some more from the bartering farm or just go farm it. But I wanted to get this out because I am so happy to be done with the first tier of walls. This has taken me the better part of a week and a half, I believe. Over a week for sure. And it's been, oh, I mean, boring, I'll be honest. It's been quite boring, but it's been incredibly nice to finally see this coming together and actually seeing what's been in my head out into the, the game. And I am just so stoked with it. I've never done a gradient before, never have. So. I am incredibly thrilled with that. I had to tinker with a little bit, a couple spaces I am kind of 50-50 on, but as a whole, I bloody love this. Now, as I said, this is the first, this is the first of three tiers. As I mentioned before, this is the small one. There's two more and they're gonna be a lot bigger. I've already laid down an absurd amount of bricks, blocks, same thing. Now the exact numbers, they make me cry because this is gonna be double, double or triple for the second and third wall. Cause I apparently hate myself. <laughs> Good news, I'm gonna have a bunch of wood, but after finishing up this little project, I say little, we're gonna be working on a custom mega desert. And when I say mega, I do mean mega. It's absurd. But that's for later on in the video. I want to geek about this. Now, I've tried a handful of different ways to build this the most effective and quickest way possible. There doesn't really seem to be a good way, like the best way. The easiest quote unquote way that I found was running, getting the concrete laid first. And then from there, I just did the little random spikes but even then it felt like it was still really slow. Now from there, it became a little easier once I got that kind of first layer going-ish. It still felt incredibly slow. I still don't know which is better, either the jumping up all the way, doing each individual row, line, pillar, or doing the more just running back and forth and then doing each section. So concrete, coal blocks, black wool, uh, <laughs> black concrete powder, uh, cracked, polished blackstone bricks, and polished blackstone bricks. Nailed it. <sighs> now, the only reason why I didn't finish up the towers was because I didn't really have a design for them yet. And at the same time, like I said, I didn't finish the walking path that goes around the tower because I ran out of blackstone and I needed more nether brick. So... That's going to be later. I'll do a quick show off of that in the next episode, just showing, hey, I actually finished it. And I'm just, oh, tickled pink right now.
Oh boy, oh boy. I love, love seeing this. Now, when I was doing the outside wall, it was, it felt like it took me the longest only because I was basically counting the seconds. <laughs> Now the end total of what I've used so far before finishing off the walkways and stuff like that is 89,345 black concrete powder, 41,776 polished black stone bricks, 41,574 black concrete, 14,592 coal blocks, 12,144 black wool, and 9,915 cracked black stone. Now, the concrete powder is probably half, I'm assuming, because of course I have to lay it down to turn it into actual concrete. So I'm assuming that it's not fully nearly 90,000 for what's actually in the build, since I used a lot more regular concrete than I did concrete powder. But it's still a stupid number, considering, again, this is the smallest tier wall. <laughs> that I'm doing around this place. So those numbers are going to be stupid and I'm going to need to farm coal for a while. Bloody heck. The thing I didn't want to like touch on is the desert build I have coming up, which is going to be a custom mega desert. Now, considering that on the map, you can see that there's Omashu, the library of Wanchi Tong, there's the Sandbender deals, there's this gigantic desert, and I need to, uh, I need to make it. <laughs> there is there is no desert big enough in the area that a i'm going for i don't think there's even a big enough desert in minecraft naturally for what i'm going for so i would like to ask for suggestions on one thing on the picture of the bottom part of the platform you'll see there's like metal plates now of course i can't do that exactly how i'd like to in minecraft I have a few ideas in my head, but if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments because I'm very curious. I'm gonna try out a whole different a slew of options that I just kind of think of and go from there. But if you have any ideas, definitely let me know down below because, oh, it's gonna be, I just, there's just so much, so much I need to do and I'm so excited. So <laughs> with all that said, hopefully you did enjoy. I have been Artilus. And I'll see you in the next one. Do take care of yourself. Toodles!